We're excited to have our next guest in the studio. He's here nice and early today. He's got shows that are selling out left and right at Helium Comedy Club tonight and tomorrow. Sold out. But there are tickets available for Sunday. Get them down. 7 p.m. and 9.30. Please welcome the one and only Mr. Craig Robbins. Yeah. Hello and good morning. Good morning, sir. Good to see you again. Likewise. How long has it been? Uh, wow, that's we were just a good... saying, the last time he was in studio, we had Danny Boyle. Who was promoting Slumdog Millionaire, Preston? That was the before time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, in the before times. <laughs> I don't think he was promoting Slumdog Millionaire, oh. but Craig was had seen it, and you said it was one of the greatest movies you had ever I, seen. Had ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was. He, he was, was, he was, he was, he was yeah. promoting was Slumdog. Yeah. Okay. And it, because he was like, I, sh I should take you with me to promote. Because <laughs> I, I, had, I had just, but I don't even know why. It, just, it rocked your world. Movie, but yeah, I just happened to... Like, like, oh, this looks interesting. Like, I saw a little, little bitty, little bitty article about it. And then I, I went and, and saw and then blew me away. And then here I was here. And here <laughs> was Danny Boyle coming in. And I was able. And then I saw him at like a Golden Globes or something. Yeah. And we kind of like, you know, we're friendly. So. <laughs> oh, good. I good. looked so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes just meeting someone like that lead to working with them on occasion. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no. You no, know, I take that back. Some, sometimes uh, there have been uh, uh, times where you know you, you stick out uh, on somebody's brain and they call mm -hmm. you in for this, that, and other. But it's, uh, sometimes it's because they'll see you on stage or whatever or, or the work you've done. But yeah, it, it, it has it has been beneficial at times. Nice. Well, you, you you're working on so many things and, and obviously doing some uh, research and, and looking up stuff that you uh, are involved with. The show, killing it. Uh, came hey. to, uh, my, and I didn't even know it was on. I know there's just, and we were talking about this issue. We've had people come through. Now there's such a glut of good stuff across so many platforms. Right, right. It's easy to fall through the cracks. So this is a comedy series, Casey, from the Brooklyn Nine-Nine guys, right? Are you all watching and killing it? Uh, y'all been watching it? No, I, I'm, I, I just, <laughs> just found you. out about it. Yeah. Yeah, That's this, about right. That's so what I the st number said. <laughs> 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 but I loved you on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I love that show Thank and you. these writers. So it's on Peacock, first season done. It's, it's, it's such a, I mean, it was, it's, it's still the wicked humor but uh, like it, it takes a turn, especially from going from Brooklyn Nine Nine to that. Oh, it's, it uh, seems crazy. Uh, Explain the Dan, Dan Gore and Luke Del Tradici. They're the uh, uh, writers, uh, uh, head writers of Brooklyn Nine Nine. And so you know, as I was doing Brooklyn, uh, we, I had these meetings with them, and, and it was like, uh, let's let's do something because Brooklyn's winding down. Yeah, it's not another. And then uh, they they came to me with these ideas, these three ideas, and one of them was uh, for the killing it. I. In this show, Killing It, I play uh, Craig Foster, stretch, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I play a, um, how did somebody put it, a, uh, I'm a man who will do anything to achieve the American dream, including become a, a, a invasive species vigilante, okay? <laughs> so you, you actually go and kill... Snakes. Uh, it's, you, it's a you, python contest. Right. Uh, it's a real thing in Florida where they have yeah, these python contests. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think this year you could win an ATV or something. <laughs> but but, um, but they, but you, but they, you know, they're overrun by snakes because I guess people, you know, want to be like Scarface back in the day, whatever. And then they, it's crazy. Uh, 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 then they end up, you know, letting them go in the wild and nothing eats them, but they eat everything. Yep. So they're overrun. And so anyway, our uh, uh, Luke Del Tredici was, uh, you know. I guess he, he he was looking at it and then uh, and then we, we they came up with this series and here I am at the well, end of it. Now where did you shoot? Did you shoot in Australia? Or? Uh no. I'll tell you this though. I shot we shot in New Orleans. Okay. Uh last year. And then um but speaking of Australia, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you. Okay. Right. Speaking of Australia, when uh, I got killing it, they they were like, Are you afraid of snakes? And I was like, I used to be. But I had gone to Australia maybe in 2015, 16, somewhere around. Okay. With my band, The Nasty Delicious. We're playing September 22nd at the Brooklyn Bowl. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but at uh, the Brooklyn Bowl in Williamsburg. But um, we we went and we, we were at this animal sanctuary. It was, it was incredible. We sang to a cockatoo. He <laughs> was moving his head and dancing. If you ever see a cockatoo, sing to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and then we got to the snakes. And, and uh, they put the snake around my neck. And I was like... I. In that moment, I stopped being scared. Of snakes. I was like, "This huh. this snake means me no harm. It's very docile. It feels so nice." And and you know, I've been misled by uh, 
the Bible and Indiana Jones. <laughs> See, it's funny. I'm not afraid it's of snakes true. either, but but I have snake nightmares, which is bizarre. Like they don't like. I'm not inherently afraid of them, go. but I for some reason like. And it's like, I think oh. it's the perception of the texture and what you're going to feel, and and it's basically like in most cases it feels like a sort of a cool wallet when no. you're. No, he's he's afraid of of of, of, of giant penises. That's what that's about. <laughs> that's, that's 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 I don't know, afraid or intrigued. <laughs> One of those. Intrigued by giant yeah, penises. Intrigued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, so so cool. So, and the second season has been given the go ahead. Just given the go ahead. We start filming uh, late October. So, so killing thank it. you, those uh, you know who, who are supporting and checking it out. And for those who, who don't uh, or not yet, it's called Killing It. It's on Peacock TV. It's a streaming service. Yes. Hey, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I wanted to ask about your band, The Nasty Delicious. Yes. You, you mentioned that. Now, obviously, we've seen you uh, on stage perform. You're a great musician, keyboard player, sing, have some fun. Is the band, is it straight ahead? Is it comedy? Is it a little bit of both? It's, it's, it's my act plus incredible musicians. Yeah, it's like seven, Be- eight people, incredible. right? Yes, yeah, you're books. a really yeah. good musician. I mean, you, you. yeah, yeah I've seen you play multiple We'd times. we up there jam, but I, and I'm, I'm the least talented of the group. Mm. Uh-huh. And they are, I mean, they're all phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It's really, between us, we probably know every song. You, you started as a music teacher, right? Yes. Yeah. Kindergarten yeah. through eighth grade music in Chicago. Hmm. Was it then and that you Indiana. wrote "Take Your Panties Off"? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that happened. I was a comedian. I was, I was working in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, and uh, there was this, this this waitress, and she like didn't know where to get something, and her legs would not stop, and it just. It, the words just came out. Take their panties <laughs> off. And uh, it's been over 20 years. And it. there you go. You know, I, I hear you sing quite often on the uh, the commercial where you're performing Maniac in the in the uh, laundromat. It's a maniac, maniac. <laughs> maniac. It's hilarious. Uh, if you've never seen the commercial, it, it ends with the old this old man sitting in a chair as you, <laughs> a, a la the water coming down, you're pouring laundry. Uh, From a flash dance. Y- right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, people always ask me, did you write that? <laughs> Are you, no, they just it was Michael Cimbello, They right? did it. No, no, no. It's about the uh, oh, the, this the commercial. Oh, the skit, yeah. And they're like, I'm like, no. He came to me. They were like, this is what we got in mind. Well, you do it. So it's it's <laughs> kind of amazing. Oh, that's great. Right? <laughs> and so uh, that you got Pizza Hut commercials going too. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Shout out Pizza Hut. <laughs> Yo, yes. um, Pizza Hut oh, oh. is kind of the unsung hero of pizza. I, I, I'm these the stuffed crust Pizza Hut pizza is damn stuffed good. Stuffed bread? No, no, no stuffed so crust. Good. The oh, so the good. the cheesy stuffed crust pizza. I'm I'm telling you, if you have a Pizza Hut near you, or even if you don't, do it. Go do it. <laughs> hey, you know why? Mm-hmm. No one out pizza's the hut. <laughs> <laughs> I just made fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Do we get any pizza? <laughs> Honestly, I can hook you up. <laughs> I, it always cracks me up because a lot of times, you know, people like they'll demure from you know, oh, I yeah, don't do commercials. I'm like, why wouldn't you? If you if you if you can do something that's fun. Oh, that's that's way right. Way, way every everybody everybody does everything now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it you remember we used to you be... see actors like movie stars on TV. Yeah, all that's out the window. Like years ago, you would you would see like celebrities would go do commercials in Japan that yeah, weren't yeah. there here. Get their couple million. Now, I, um, speaking of commercials, you know I have a commercial that's like uh, uh, specific to this region. No, what is, what is it? Deets. Oh, Deets. Oh. oh, yeah, you're doing uh, Deets. Deets and Watson. Deets nuts. Deets and Watson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's my brother in the commercial with me, Chris. Ryan. Really? Deets and Deets Watson. Deets I haven't yeah. seen. Oh no, yeah, because it's been a while. It's I mean, been, I don't know how when the last time they were on, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you suckered him into saying Deets nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you get fifty grand for that too. <laughs> Bam! Who was somebody? Whoever's on the uh, the uh, the video is killing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's oh, our there boy you Connor. go. Those, that's my brother right there. Yeah, yeah. So then you and I have yeah. something in common. I was the uh, I was a Deets spokesperson for the uh, same. Uh, what? Yeah, I swear. Yeah, I was the. I'm you get sure you ne- grand. Yeah, you negotiated <laughs> the same contract. I, I would like to have fifty grand for saying that. <laughs> hey, I wanted to bring up. We saw the 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 footage. You uh, and it was it was kind of scary because obviously we uh, we adore you, but you you were at a, at a club and there was I think like an active shooter situation. Yeah, I was at the Comedy Zone in North Carolina. Tell us what happened in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, so, check this out. All right, so um, it was in between shows. Okay, was it the full band or was it just you? It was doing- just me. Yeah. It was me and a couple uh, a few comics. And so it was in between shows. So the staff had just you know, had to clean it up. I think they seated one table. All right. So uh, this uh, a guy come, wanders in, and he has two tickets to see Damon Wayans. Okay. Right? 
and they were in a Bible. Okay. He pulled two tickets out of a Bible. Oh, interesting. Okay. Already, very, already troubling. <laughs> yeah. Already troubling. Yeah. So then uh, they're like, oh, well, the, you know, Damon canceled a couple months ago, but this is, you know, Craig Robinson. We, we could accommodate, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. And then I'm not exactly what happened, but I think he, he walked away. He comes back. He pulls out the gun. He's like, uh, and he, he wait, and he walked right past the green room. Now, mind you, I never, the only time I felt uh, uh, that there was, might be some something missed, some some trouble, when they came, they were like, everybody out. Because the guy came, he waved his gun in front of the staff and was like, uh, this is your one chance to get the F Jesus. out. Whoa. Right, right. So, Jesus. So, so then all I heard was, everybody out now. You know, and, and the, you know, at that point, I knew he, they meant everybody, not just like <laughs> some random people. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. So we got up, we ran out, and um, and there was this uh, concert going on next door, the uh, Big Time Rush. You remember that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Big Time Rush. Yeah. Yeah. So so we went there, and then and uh, and and I didn't know who it was. I was like, uh, uh, uh. So they took us there for safety. It was right next door, and um. And they were like, I was like, who's this performing? They said, Big Time Rush. I said, take me back to the active shooter. I teased, I teased. They actually, they were, they were very That might have been a good I, I, call. I Big Time Rush, man. they were dope. But, uh, but, but kudos to the Comedy Zone, the, the security, they, they got us out of there. And, uh, like, I never, like, once I saw the footage, I saw how, how it could have gone left because he was walking around with his gun. He, it, it turned out fine. Nobody got hurt, and he, uh, and he was he, the, the police came and got him. They could have came in yeah. guns blazing, hmm. like had every you know right. It's to, a nightmare. But, but, but yeah. it was uh, it was all good, and you know they got us out of there, and uh, yeah. Do yeah, you do, so? You, you're you're a big guy, uh, you know, but you, you travel and you doing you're doing shows. Do you do you ever have to hire security at some places? Or I, do, I have security. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, his security is right you behind you know, right now. You won't know this security. We'll be at a restaurant. There'll be three tables away, and you just think I'm sitting there alone. <laughs> 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 you never know, do you? <laughs> I wanted to tell you that uh, virtually every other week, I end up watching the outtake uh, from Eastbound <laughs> and Down. Oh, my, my God. Plums. The plums. Oh, my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. That's, that's so effing funny. And and <laughs> you are you're you're what makes it you're 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 trying to be as stoic as possible. If you if people aren't aren't familiar, you can look it up bro. on YouTube. Danny McBride, yeah, top G, bro. <laughs> the, man, the uh, yeah, trying to. Will Ferrell is sitting there trying to destroy it. He didn't care. He destroy. He's trying to destroy you. <laughs> yeah. And now, but now couple that with having a. Look Danny McBride in the eyes, yeah, and not laugh like, like face to face, yeah. so that you're supposed to there. And and he's he's talking about, you know, the, the plums and the, <laughs> they're just cracking up. There's a line that Farrell has where he says, uh, I think he's trying to say, if I recall correctly, but he says, if I were click click, <laughs> and, and now I don't I don't say recall anymore. I say we're click click. Uh, he, he describes uh, having and making love to his wife, and, 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 and he needs to learn. Yeah, you let the boy watch. <laughs> So you can learn like, like I did from my father, my father, his father before him. Well, you you've been on so many great, uh, you know, sets. Uh, obviously, yeah. the Office. You've been with with a, a lot of improvisational people. Um, you were on, um, and obviously, you're great comedically. What for you was the most fun on any set you ever had, where you just, you know, just tore it up and laughed all the time because you, you're surrounded by some major talent. The, um. The the probably this this movie called Peoples, David Allen Greer, well you know the, I I got three in mind Peoples this is the end and then uh, Dolomite 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 was crazy now David Allen Greer I, w I w what needs to happen David Allen Greer and Keegan Michael Key <laughs> when I tell you these they are they are incredible yeah and it, and they just and like David Allen Greer is is one of the I mean he 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 was the best like but um. Between that and and the peoples was with Dave Allen Greer and Kerry Washington, and then uh you know this is the end. You got Seth and all these cats in it, and I was being very entertained. <laughs> it was like well, one time it was like an hour and a half, just them lighting or something, and uh, <laughs> Jonah, Jonah and uh, uh Danny uh, McBride, jo Jonah and Franco. No, yeah. they were it just entertaining me like yeah. they were just <laughs> yeah I can't say what they were saying, but they were doing these accents. It was too funny, and then uh. And then what was the other one? I just said, oh, Dolomite. Forget yeah. about it. I couldn't. I couldn't have. 
you know, dreamt that experience working with Eddie Murphy. Was, I really you know, dug that movie. That I'd seen a documentary. I mean, we used to play Dolomite clips all the time. And uh, Rudy, what was it? Rudy Ray Moore. Rudy, Rudy Ray Moore. Yeah. Legend. And, and um, uh, you know, the, the lines like, you, know, uh, um, you better, what was it? You better watch your... Uh, I'm going to put these hush puppies, puppies right, right up your, your ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hilarious. Was that, was that a cool, I know that was a passion project for Eddie Murphy. Was that, was that a, a wild, ex you said you enjoyed being on uh, set. It, it, yeah. was, it was, it was, it was phenom phenomenal. It, yeah. And Eddie couldn't have been cooler. Um, I, I had worked with him before on um, uh, uh, Shrek Forever After. Yeah. I was, uh, uh, I played one of the, Ogres named Cookie. I was a cook. <laughs> but um you like doing the anime because you were just in, in the, the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the best, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just go in there and, you, and, and wild out. You know, you just uh wild out. Just like going crazy in the booth or whatever. But yeah, Dolomite was uh was pretty crazy because what, what made that really for me was uh Keegan though. Like Keegan and I, we we would come up with these bits and it was it was just made the time. He's super. Fly he, by. He's I, super yeah, talented. Yeah. I, I, I would it's, love to get him in the studio. I just saw him. He, they they had him at a, a like a Penn State game. And did you see the, oh, the yeah. footage of him doing that? He looks that? like the head coach. He looks like uh, James Franklin, the yeah. head coach. Did you see the footage? I did of this? not. No. Oh my God! So they're interviewing <laughs> him like on the side of the field. <laughs> As if he's the coach. Yeah. And then I, I don't even remember what he says, but he's like, and he notices something like 100 yards away. He's like, I got to go. And then the way he runs away he is completely, yeah, yeah. completely ridiculous. I think he led the team on the field. And, and, and so there's 110,000 people oh, wow. in Happy I'd love Valley. to see that. Yeah, and he's running out. And then the entire Penn State football team yeah. is running behind him because he looks so much like that coach. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It truly, truly, oh, that spike. Uh, 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 truly, truly not a nicer guy in Hollywood. And uh, he also... At the uh, the Rams, the football, uh, yeah. the yeah. Super Bowl, he kicked the field goal. I mean, you know, it was like half time. In the game? The, the no, game-winning field goal? The game <laughs> yeah. you know, they let you do that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is. He was in a series that I loved, and they renewed it, uh, called Schmigadoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And, and uh, you know, it's this big music, parody of musicals, but... He he's he's multi uh, multi talented for sure. Who who um so uh, who would you like to? You've worked with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You've worked with everybody, man. Yeah, who's who's on your? I have to work with that person list because you know the improvisational stuff and your comedic ability, your music ability. You know you have a number of different doors to go through. Who who's who's the person you just? Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you a big uh, fish called Wanda? Fan? I, yes, I am yeah. a huge fish called Wanda fan. But yeah, yeah, he he was one of them that's always. Uh, I've been on my list. Do you love the movie Soap Dish? Because we're huge fans. I, I didn't see it. Ah, oh, that's he, a fun one. Yeah, he, he plays a uh, he plays a uh, a soap opera actor who's uh, because of something goes awry on uh, his romance with Sally Field on this series, he gets his career is destroyed. And they when they go to him in the beginning of the movie, he's doing um, dinner theater in a retirement <laughs> community. <laughs> he's doing death of a salesman. <laughs> And, and he's just, he's great. Stella. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that one down. I remember when I, I saw uh, Fish Called Wanda, and, uh, and this is like, you know, when I was start studying, starting acting classes, and uh, and the, the people had recommended movies, and I watched, uh, one was Fish Called Wanda, the other one was uh, The Usual Suspect. Sure, and I watched great one. on the same night. Oh, wow. the same night, okay. Yeah, yeah, and uh, like, I was, you know, definitely like creeped out, and then also... Full of joy. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's wild when you realize that's the same guy in, in Kevin Klein and in, in Sophie's Choice. Yeah, you know, and and uh, that's, oh, yeah, that, yeah. there's a massive range on that. Yeah, yeah. Of all yeah. the things that you do, uh, you know, acting, stand up, uh, music, music uh, improv. What's what is your favorite? What is your your love? Heroin. Heroin. Yeah. Oh, it's a hell of a drug. It's just, you know, it, 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 almost, it almost becomes a habit. <laughs> it's like, people don't realize you can be a functioning heroin. You know? um, uh, uh, it's got to be gotta be uh, uh, on stage, just that uh, the connection, you know, with the crowd. Immediate you know, feedback. It, uh, immediate feedback, immediate, let's just, uh, just everybody on one accord. That's, uh, that's the best for me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool, you know, and, and the... Uh, uh, Will, to Preston's earlier question about music, and obviously you have the comedic aspect to the music, uh, have you ever considered, have you ever released... Uh, oh, we're working, we, we like have... A, a straight-up serious... I send you my song. We'll play yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we, yeah, we, we, have, uh, well, we have a song cut, uh, uh, and then we have... Uh, we, we're working on some stuff, yeah. We, sure. I mean, we can play it now if you want. 
<laughs> we, we will. It, yeah. It's not out yet. If I was ready, you know, for to. Because because then people, oh, can, where can I get it? Then uh, no, it's not. <laughs> we can play just five seconds. If <laughs> By the way, if you're just tuning in, it's Craig Robinson, who's going to be at uh, Helium Comedy Club uh, this weekend. The Friday Saturday shows are sold out, but there's some for Sunday. But you know, uh, Casey mentions uh, you know uh, acting, comedy, music. I'm trying to think of who else has that. Uh, that triple threat. Not many. Yeah. Not I mean, many. Like, Jamie Foxx does all three For of those. Sure. Uh, and then some. I could see like a a, a touring group of, of people who have, who have the three <laughs> big like, entertainment like, like chops. Potential EGOT winners. Yeah. Like right? a, and doing the a big tour, tour or something yeah. like that. <laughs> now, I got nothing of the EGOT. So <laughs> potential, you don't even have the, the potential EGOT. Yeah, potential EGOT. <laughs> potential yeah, EGOT. Like yeah. you said. Like you said, I didn't just steal that from you. Hey, so <laughs> real quick, you're hosting the, the Globe Trotters are coming back to television in a couple of weeks and you're hosting this. I gotta tell you, when I was a kid growing up, when the Globe Trotters were on, that was like a huge event for me. And it always seemed like everything stopped. Well, so we had to go to Mass every weekend, right? And then at, at a certain point, they invented Saturday Night Mass. And it always seemed like my mom and dad chose to go to Saturday Night Mass whenever the Harlem Globetrotters were playing on Saturday night. And so, it, But it was a huge, huge thing. So you, what's this thing that you guys are they, doing? They, they just, you know, it happened kind of quickly. They hit me up, and then two weeks later, it was, uh, I'm hosting this this, uh, this Globetrotter show, which is very interesting and, and, and cool and obviously family-friendly. friendly. friendly. And it's it's just fun. It's so uh, we're gonna do some episodes, and you know they got a season on uh, uh, what's the what's the app? NBC, not Peacock. Well, Peacock it's not, it's is the Peacock. NBC. It's, NBC. it's on actually on NBC. On TV. Okay, okay. We've had so many big name uh, musicians, uh, actors, and and so on come through the studio, but I was so delighted the time that that Curly Neal came in, oh, it was and I got to meet him <laughs> yeah. face to face. And I was so bummed out when he passed away. He yeah. meant so much to me in my childhood. Uh, he was the face of, of, oh, of that. He yeah. was just the him best. and uh, what was that? Metal, 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 yeah, metal yeah. yeah. Yep. I want to ask you uh, an office question, Craig. Um, one of the best openings ever is the no, 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 nobody uh, one with it. You know, it's a one cut, and and they they do that song. Um, and uh, everybody's sort of jamming along, but there was like, there was a lot of music interspersed with the office uh, throughout, and including you know you you would jam on on the keys, and uh, Creed Bratton would play, and and Ed Helms would be on the banjo. Um, did that did that require a lot of takes when you would do musical scenes? Uh, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, um, you know, it, it's like uh, we would you know rehearse or whatever, and then they get the, what they needed, and you know I mean some things took more than other, but it wasn't like you know. Okay, we take ninety seven. <laughs> you know, it's like a Kubrick film. Yeah. The part of it was uh, the fact that we are, you know, these guys working at a warehouse, you know, getting together. So it, it wasn't supposed to be like. You know, it's right. it's Super that great. show has, uh, um, and it, it's weird because I was uh, reading an interview with you from a while back when they had that big uh, office con uh, fest in uh, Thundercon. Scranton. Thunder yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. The ter there was one. There was one that was on the screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, but there was one before it where they were like, okay. And it it was thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Uh, does it still blow you away that a show that had a really uh, you know had a building run on NBC is now such a juggernaut and being Cult discovered by younger mm -hmm. people now? A thousand percent. Yeah. It's uh, you know, and that, uh, during the uh, the lockdown and all that, like you you would. That's when I started noticing people would be like, uh, "Oh, I've seen it," you know, seven times through through. Mm -hmm. You know, we just it, it's just some people's like it's always on. And it's uh, and then there's the people who like this is, uh, uh, my my, fa my family member was sick, and it's the only thing that made them laugh. Mm. It's, the ah. only, it's the only time my family comes together, you know. So it's it means different things to different people, but it's it's being on an office is like uh, you have friends everywhere. Uh, it's so cool. Uh, yeah, we have Kate Flannery's a, a, a good friend of the Kate show. Kate Flannery. Yeah. <laughs> One time I was telling a story about her last night. We were here. We happened to be here at the same time, and this was like I don't know early on. And we and I went to her her uh, her family's uh, the bar. bar. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And uh, and we and we and we walked around. We like we're trying to get, see if we could get twenty people to recognize us. <laughs> I tell you, we had to scratch for that last <laughs> the last five. <laughs> we, we, we like walk around. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that is sort of overt thing, yeah. yeah for sure, for sure. Do we still have the uh, the sign on the board over there? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. show. I'll show yeah. it to Craig over here. It's it's called the Flannery Switch. Hey, 
And uh, the reason being is because Kate curses so much when she comes on the <laughs> air with us that we have to no we have way. to keep yeah. dumping out on her. Yeah, but I've got it uh, on the board over here, uh, and and it will always remain <laughs> as such. The Flannery switch. Craig's taking a picture of it right now. <laughs> yeah, send that to him. Let know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, listen, gang, get your tickets for Sunday because the Friday and Saturday shows are sold out at Helium Comedy Club, and you can go to heliumcomedy.com. But there are two Sunday shows, 7 and 9.30. Your keyboard going to be on stage oh, with you? Oh, you better believe it. That's my Maybe. partner. <laughs> love it. I and, love uh, it. And killing it on Peacock. Killing it on Peacock. Thank All right. You. And watch the Globe Trotters coming up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Great to see you. Thanks for coming and by. Thank here, you Craig. so much. Thanks for always showing so much love. Anytime. Craig Robinson, yeah. everybody.